This one definitely Orange Dream. Definitely Ultramel. Definitely Krypton. What's up, Snake fans? Dave Palumbo here for Muscle Serpents Daily. Today is an exciting day because we had a ball python clutch hatch about a week ago. It just shed out. We're going to take a look at that today. And we have six, I think six more snakes that my friend Paul Miller uh, sent over to my house. These are Amazon tree boas. So we got some tree boas to go over and take a look at. Uh, that's pretty much all we're going to have time probably today to, to take a look at. So clutch in the incubator, new stuff in the collection. That's an exciting day as far as I'm concerned. Stay tuned. Let's go into the snake room. All right, there's the Mata Mata Turtles. Oop, just sucked up some uh, little rosy red minnows. That guy got big, Cliff, man. He's, he's huge. Where's the other one? He's like up on that log. Oh, the other one's over there, yeah. This one, this one's like actively hunting. Usually they just hang out on the top of the water and they'll grab them. This one's like, no, no, no. We got fresh, fresh, fresh yeah. fish in here. This is like a sushi meal for me. He just creeps up off the Yeah, yeah, he's, he's... They create like a, a vortex with their, with their mouth and they just... The fish just get sucked right in there. There it is. That's my mata mata. That's... Good boy. <laughs> he's not done either. He, he'll take down 20 fish probably today. Wow. When I first got him, they wouldn't even eat. I had to take him out and put him in like a separate dish, essentially. Let's see. There it goes again. Going for more. I mean, he's pretty big now. Those those fish probably don't even like. He's he's probably got to eat twenty of them before. Oop! I may have to get goldfish. To this guy, he's pretty big. All right, little bit of an update. This is my very first scaleless ball python I produced back in two thousand nineteen, and we're gonna try to breed her this year. She's looking really good. She's. She's just a, a blade scalus. And look at look at all the contrast in here. And she's, I mean, smooth as could be. Um, like you can, see, you can see, she sheds well because we keep the paper towels damp. We just put new paper towels and we're gonna dampen those up in a minute. And I keep her on just damp paper towels all the time and she has no problem. She sheds probably once a week at least. And she grows well, she eats well. And uh, hopefully we're gonna, we're gonna see her produce some babies this year. Last year, I think she produced um, some slugs. I don't think we, I, I don't think I, I think the male I put in with her was not uh, mature enough. So I don't think he got the job done. So anyway, she's looking great. Um, once again, I love my scalus. And as you can see, they, they grow, they, they eat, they do well. You know, they just don't have any scales. So you have to kind of make sure they're in, in, a, in a wet environment so that they can shed when they need to. All right, here's my first uh, ball python clutch of the year that hatched. It actually hatched when uh, we weren't expecting it. I wasn't expecting it. And Pablo said, I think we have a, a, a ball python clutch that hatched. I said, I thought we weren't getting any hatching till May. He's like, nope, we must have missed this one. Anyway, so it hatched, and I, I didn't do a video on it the other day because they were all in shed. That's how uh, I probably missed them for a week. Luckily, I keep everything. I always put water bowls in and... Uh, these guys just shed out, so I figure we might as well go over them now. It's a pretty interesting clutch. Uh, we weren't sure of the father, but I think we kind of narrowed it down. This was from an ultra male head clown female, okay, that was bred by a super orange dream fire spider krypton head ultra male. That's a lot, I know. So it's super orange dream. That means all the babies are going to be orange dream. Fire, so there might be some fire in here. Uh, spider, I definitely see some spider in here, so um, definitely that's the father. Krypton, which is an Leela combination of 100% head clown and 100% head cryptic. So you got one copy of each, you get this Krypton, and it's also head ultra male. So obviously the mother was ultra male visual, head clown. So we're going to hopefully get some ultra males. We're going to hopefully get some clowns and we might get some kryptons because depending on the father he's going to definitely throw either clown head clown or he's going to throw one gene of, of, of cryptic and the mom 
is Het Clown. So she potentially could throw a Het Clown. So let's see what we got here. Ooh, I just got bit. Ooh, just got bit again. And wouldn't you know it, it's the clown. We definitely have a clown right there. And you know what? The funny thing is this clown looks like more than just a clown. It's, it's a pretty nice looking clown. It's, uh, I think this is probably an orange dream clown because I believe the father was super orange dreaming. We're trying to prove it out. Everything does look orange dream to me. So I think this is an orange dream clown right here. Very, very nice looking clean. Definitely a little, a little much more orange than the regular conventional clown. And what I'm gonna do, I am going to put a top on this thing. I'm gonna take one out at a time because these guys get a little too frisky here for their own good measure. All right, so this is our clown. It's also, ooh, this one's the, the biter. Must be hungry. It's just, things are falling down here. It's the, falling apart here. So orange dream clown we got here. The funny thing is they got bit, but they didn't break the skin, so that's good. She's just hungry. You always want a f good feeding response off of your uh, your babies because a lot of times, you know, some snakes don't want to eat. And you got to wind up force feeding them or assist feeding them. So that means that this, uh, this mother, who is head clown, gave her gene. And the father, instead of giving a head cryptic gene, he gave a head clown gene. So we got two copies of the clown gene. And we produced this clown. The father also gave one copy of Orange Dream because he's a super Orange Dream. He has to give Orange Dream and we have this Orange Dream clown. All right, here's two more babies. Let's look at this one first because this is not Spider. This is just, this looks to be Orange Dream. Um, I don't believe this is Ultramel at all. So it's gotta be 100% head Ultramel because the mom was Ultramel. And it doesn't look to be clown or cryptic or krypton, so it's got to be either head cryptic or head clown. So the mother did not throw a, cl a, a clown gene, therefore the father either threw a cryptic gene or, or a clown gene, and we won't know that. So it's either head cryptic or it's head clown. But this is orange dream for sure, and it's also head ultramel 100%. So we this is really a double head. It's a double head for Ultramel and a double head for either Clown or Cryptic, which is cool. So it's got a lot of potential, even though we didn't really see much other than the orange dream aspect of it. Now, this snake has got the spider gene in it, of course. Some people don't like spiders. I happen to like spiders. All right, if you look at this ear stripe, it does look very Krypton-ish. It's not that... Mm. You know what? I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna even go there. I'm not gonna call it a, a Krypton. Um, I'm gonna call this Orange Dream Spider Head Ultramel, and either Head Clown or Head Cryptic. I don't. I don't think it's a Krypton. I don't. Don't think that eye stripe is is, is wide enough of a, of a pattern to call it that. It, I mean, it could be. At some points, you see when you see this big, big stripe, and this is this is you know hard to tell sometimes because this is spider. Um, I, I'm going to call this head cryptic or head clown. I'm not going to call it a, a visual. All right, here are the two superstars of this clutch. This one is not participating, so we're going to go right to this one. This one, I believe, is Orange Dream, Ultramel, Spider, Krypton. Now, that's a big eye stripe behind that eye right there. This, I believe, is... We hit everything pretty much on this. So we got Orange Dream, Ultramel, Spider, which is, you can see how bright orange. This is a really, really nice, and I don't know if the camera's even picking this up, even close to as good as it really is. This snake is, is gorgeous, and it's got this big ear stripe. That's gonna tell me it's Krypton. That means we got one gene of clown from the mother. We got a cryptic from the father. Um, and we produce what's called a Krypton. It's like an in-between allelic combination. And there's nothing else that we could have hit here. So we, we pretty much got everything. Uh, is there fire in here? I don't know. We'll have, to, we'll have to find out. There might be. If it gets a little more yellow, it might have fire in it as well. Super clean, super beautiful, very high-end. Once again, we, got, we hit the Ultramel Crypt, Krypton right here. Uh, this snake, if we breed it, obviously... We can produce Ultramel Kryptons. We can produce Ultramel Clowns with this thing. 
it's going to give us a lot of potential and it's got the orange dream in it so i'm i'm really 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 happy with the way this one turned out all right so i moved these guys over to a different area here with a little black background so you can get a better idea of how bright orange these two are i actually think they're they're pretty much this i almost think they're the same jeans um this one definitely orange dream definitely ultramel definitely krypton this one's a little different you know what and i'll show you the difference the difference is this one's this one might have like fire in it maybe this one doesn't but this one's looks also ultramel orange dream it's also got the, the krypton high stripe they're just a little they, they look they, they look pretty much the same they're both you know what the funny thing is i i left them here purposely i said i'm gonna go fill up a water jug i'll just leave them alone and when I walk away, they'll probably just relax themselves and, and let their heads out and, and they'll get out of that little balled out position that ball pythons love to go in. And I knew what was going to happen. As soon as I came, I mean, I was gone 30 seconds. As soon as I came back, both of them were gone. Completely gone. Not only did they just open up, they took off. And I, I knew where they went. They went into this rack because this was this, this little rack was touching the other one. And I knew that I knew where they, because they, they couldn't have gone too far. I was, I was literally gone. 30 seconds I'm standing here now for more than 30 seconds and they have not opened up if I walk away they'll be gone in in, in, in a blink of an eye it's so fun. it's like they know that I'm here and maybe they can hear the vibration of my voice but uh, yeah so I'm pretty happy with this clutch the way it came out I, I really am because I, I think these are gonna really be great future potential breeders because we did hit all the genes we wanted we wanted to get that ultra male basically into the either Krypton or Clown project with the Orange Dream. We did that. Yes, we got two spiders here, but I don't care. I, I like spider. And, you know, when you breed spider to something else, you only have a 50% chance of getting spider. So it doesn't bother me one bit. Oh, here, his head's finally coming out. This one is. But you can see that's definitely a Krypton. Big, big ear stripe behind that eye. That's uh, cryptic and Krypton look just like that. And... Um, we know it has to be Krypton because one of the, the, the mother had only can only throw head clown. So we have one head clown gene, one head um, cryptic gene, and that gives us the, uh, the Krypton. So good first clutch. All right. Got a few more snakes from my friend Paul today. Dropped off. Cliff brought them over because Cliff works for both of us. And this is a Trinidad tree boa. Really, really nice. It looks like it wants to take my finger off, but super nice. Um, we're gonna be setting these up in slightly different enclosures right now. They're kind of just, I got them in holding, in a holding pattern here. So, real, look at those beautiful, like, red eyes. And that's not albino, that's just the way these things look. Beautiful red body. I'm gonna have to do a little more research on my Trinidad tree boas, but I really, I really like the way this is looking. Really cool. Nice little baby. Here's a beautiful tiger Amazon tree boa. So these are Amazon tree boas, not to be confused with emerald tree boas. These are Amazon tree boas. They don't get as big. They're much more slight of body. Once again, beautiful. Look at, those, look at that beautiful eye. I really like the tiger form because the striping just looks good with these with these Amazon tree boas. There's so many different types now, I mean, with different patterns and stuff like that. Ultimately, you know, Paul and I would love to get these things to breed. Obviously, they're not at that stage yet. Um, I want to set this up in an arboreal setup, obviously. But for now, like I said, they're kind of like in... Not really quarantine, but they're in quarantine. They should be in quarantine, uh, but they're uh, they're in their own rack, so that's that's probably good enough. Here's a gorgeous Amazon tree bow. It looks like it's in shed. This is actually a, a hypo, or they call it a yellow hypo Amazon tree bow. And you can see that grayish eye. She's definitely in shed, but she is really, really nice. I mean, the hypo gene works really, really well with these guys. Uh, it really strips away all that darkness you saw in the other one. 
and it almost looks albino-ish. So they do have some albinos, I think, or I don't know how viable they are. That's one thing. I think the super hypo actually is a leucistic. I believe Paul had a couple, like one of those at some point. I, I think it passed. I don't think it was, it was doing, it was so healthy. And I don't know what the, what the uh, long-term health of these super hypos are, but this, this one's beautiful. Really nice. Get a little spunked up a little there. Look at those eyes. They kind of perked up when I touched it. <laughs> All right, we'll leave this one alone. This might be the most gorgeous uh, of the Amazon tree bows that he brought over here. This is a red tiger. So we saw the tiger Amazon tree boa. This is a red tiger. I mean, the reds are just ridiculous in this, in this thing. Let me see if I can pick them up without biting me. Look at those reds. What a beautiful, beautiful snake. This, and it, you know what? I didn't realize they, they're kind of uh, bigger than I thought. Look at that red eye. Holy mackerel. That is gorgeous. I'm going to put these in to my, I have some focus cubes. Uh, that I was going to put some green tree pythons in, but I don't have enough to put in there. So these guys are going to go in there for sure. This this guy definitely. He definitely needs a little a beautiful setup. Look at him coming after me, coming after the phone. <laughs> He's like, what's going on here? Look at that beautiful snake. Wow. You're coming out of focus. Get back in your cage. <laughs> Get back in that tub. All right, so we're, we'll set him up in the next day or two. Probably when Pablo gets back, we'll set him up in the the arboreal setup and because uh, these guys like to you know they like to hold on to some tree branches we have the radiant heat panels in there so they can kind of heat themselves from above and we'll get them all set up properly but thank you paul now this is a big amazon tree boa male calling this a maroon amazon tree boa that I would not want to get bit by. That's a big snake. And that is definitely going to go in an arboreal setup as well because he is just big. So hopefully, we, this guy has definitely got to be breeder ready. And we're going to get him set up with a female and see if we can get this guy to breed because he is really, really nice. And he is, like I said, big. It's probably the biggest Amazon tree bar I've seen. All right, now here's an annulated tree bow. We have, I already have three of Paul's annulated tree bows, but unfortunately we only have one female and, and now this is the third, the third male that we have. So I don't know if I want to put him in with the other three, but we might have to just because they seem to all get along pretty well. But three males to one female, that's like a, that's like an orgy already, right? <laughs> all right, well. He doesn't belong in here for sure. We're gonna move him tomorrow. We're gonna to probably put him with the other annulateds and uh, we'll just go from there. Because he's big and he's the size of the other ones. And I know Paul was trying to sell this guy, but he didn't, so we gotta set him up in the right setup. Ooh, look at this guy. This is a yellow tiger. So we saw a red tiger, we saw a regular tiger. This is a yellow tiger Amazon tree boa. Boy, gorgeous in his own right. Paul I, Paul, I didn't realize you had such a great collection. I hadn't seen all, I don't think I've seen yours in a long time. Yeah, this guy's got some nice size on him as well. He's probably ready to be set up with a female. I hope we got a female that's big enough. Seems like we got a lot of males. I don't know if we have so many females. We'll have to take a look and see what, what uh, females up to size. Might have to wait till next season to breed these guys, but definitely a nice representation. We got the red tiger, the yellow tiger, the regular tiger. And then we have that hypo, beautiful hypo male too as well. So yeah, that's another beauty. Amazon tree bows are really nice, but we got to definitely get them out of these, these little hatching racks that Cliff set them up and we got to set them up in their, uh, some arboreal setups. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today here at Palumbo's Pythons and Boas. I got my daughter, Shayla, who's sweating. She's playing soccer in the front yard here. Ari is on the, uh, playing with a little bit of, what are you doing? Playing games? You're gaming? Yep, she's gaming. She's feeling a little uh, under the weather right now, but uh, hopefully she'll be better, right, Ari? Yeah. Okay. Logan is being nasty. Can I see an airplane? You see an airplane? All right, well, yeah, but we got to talk about what went on today. Today we had a wonderful clutch of ball pythons that hatched. Uh, we saw some Ultramel, Krypton, Orange Dream spiders. Really, really cool. Two of them, actually. 
And uh, I think that well, we'd have to call that a successful clutch as far as I'm concerned. Those look like holdbacks to me because uh, I want to just take that Ultramel Krypton and Ultramel Clown project to the next level. And I think those, those guys are going to do it for sure. Uh, that's something we've been uh, working on the last couple of years. Also, uh, I want to thank my friend Paul Miller who uh, dropped off another six snakes. So we got some Amazon tree boas. We're going to be setting up in the arboreal setups that I have and because uh, they're, they're just a little too big for where they are right now. Those are not babies. The ones that are adults have to go into adult setups. And you know, we want to see them in all their splendor. It's going to look really cool once we have those set up because I have those focus cubes that uh, I've been just waiting to put some stuff into. So that sounds like just the right uh, ticket. I love that. That red tiger Amazon tree boa is off the charts too. So, And I'm pretty happy about that. I like that Trinidad uh, tree boa. That's uh, really cool as well. We're going to get some more information on that. and. Uh, update you about that uh, over the next couple of days. Dad, All right, what do you want to say? You know, I have a bad pinky. You have a bad pinky? We can't have any of that, right? Never. No, no, no. We got to get that pinky all better. Are you going to be playing soccer this fall? Yep, because you're going to be turning I'll four. I'll play lollipop. You're going to play lollipop soccer, that's right. Yep, and there's, uh, there's Jedi. He's uh, hanging out here too. Everyone's having fun here in the sun in Cape Coral, Florida. All right, guys, if you... Uh, are enjoying these videos show me the love hit that subscribe button turn on those notifications hit that like button i'll see you back tomorrow morning